Hey guys, what's up? To watch this video here for uh, Tuesday, last day of November, November 30th. Um, I, <clears throat> I got pulled away today, somewhere around midday. Um, have you ever had a, a project thrust upon you because a deadline got bumped up that you weren't ready for? So I literally, uh, and I won't go into details, but I literally got uh, like very little time to do a lot of work, physical labor too, um, to get ready for something that's coming Wednesday. So anyway, um, I apologize for that. I uh, do still have some highlights from today. Um, let me see here. Oh, ISPC um, had a crazy move today. I'm going to show you five minute candles. Um, I didn't see if I didn't check the time. Um, Philippe over in France called this through 16. I don't know if it was after because right here it breached 16, went to 1604. Um, and all the way back down to like 1520 or something and then went. But I don't know if it was after that where Philippe said the 16 break. Um, if it was after that and then the 16 break just worked right away, that was a great post. Um, I didn't catch it. I didn't see the post till after. Um, and the only reason I would have taken it is because ISPC, as I, I've been saying in the videos, has been a crazy stock. Um, so even though everyone from, let's see, Friday would have been underwater because of the gap down, um, this is just crazy enough that I might have tried that if I'd have seen that. But anyway, I didn't get it. I did call the first five buy zone uh, pullback here. And it was right about, it was right there it was coming in. And I think I might maybe said whole number flush too. Um, I actually had my bid. So th this was actually my call. Um, again, if Philippe's call was timed properly, that was amazing. Uh, but anyway, I called a five buy zone. I was bidding at 2363. Um, I never give my exact bid, you know, and keep in mind, my exact bids aren't scientific. They're just a spot that I like. Um, but anyway, I, I actually bid 2363 and I only went down to 2358. So uh, I almost nailed the bottom there. And then within five minutes, it's all the way up to 2780 and actually went up to 2850 from my 2363 within 10 minutes. Love that first visit to the Fives buy zone on something that's really strong. Ended up rolling over after that, but... Uh, Still a pretty cool highlight, pretty cool trade. Um, David L.U. and Nick C., probably about 30 minutes apart, both put the idea of RIVN, which is a recent high flyer, um, through 117. It topped out in the opening five minutes at 117, came close here. Um, so we had two people in chat give the idea. I broke 117 and went all the way up over 122, 122.25, over a $5 move, probably about a dollar risk on that one because... Uh, <laughs> because of the way it trades, but still a couple of really nice posts in there. It didn't, it didn't get stopped out. Um, and also LAC, Kevin P called this second mouse through 39. This was a neat little call too. Um, had a really nice move, pulled back, and then he called right there through 39 and ended up not looking back. And I think it topped out at 41.17. So there's a few highlights from today. Um, what was I going to say? So, uh, again, I'm not really, uh, I'm not on the mic in the mornings because I'm not trading in the opening few minutes because things are too whippy and, and everything else. I pretty much have time to type and I'm just trying to save my voice. I, I don't know. People say, you know, I took a COVID test that on Thanksgiving morning before we had people over because I'd been sick um, and it came back negative. You know, I, I took, I took the, the test at home um, and everyone says you should, uh, if, uh, two or three days later, you should take it again, which I haven't done yet. So um, you know, but I, I, I'm, I'm sitting here with, with, with COVID or pneumonia or something. I don't know. It's, it's, it's kicking my butt, but I got outside and did some work today and I did it just fine. It's just, um, um, you know, I, I've got this persistent cough and it's, it's, it's getting kind of annoying. Um, but so that's why I'm really not on the mic very much. Uh, I'm still, I haven't missed a minute of work, uh, since, since this hit me except for today. And it wasn't cause I was sick. It's cause of that project I had to get done. So anyway. Um, what are we watching for tomorrow? P T P I big pop today, big volume closing well off its highs though, but I'm going to put it on a chart. P P S I had a nice volume spike. Um, man, I wish I'd have been watching this in after hours, but I was still working. Um, second mouse through eight and after hours would have been beautiful. I don't, I don't think I have extended hours on here. I'll throw them up real quick. If you happen to be watching this one and noticing how resilient it was, um, into the close, let's see, let me hover over this candle here. 
There's the close right there. So you got a high, a lower high, the whole number eight, second mouse rate, ready for it? Look at that. And it ended up going all the way up to almost 12. Um, so anyway, the reason it's on watch had a strong move and now we're looking at a potential gapper in the morning. Um, but that, uh, I'd love to hear tomorrow, somebody in chat say, hey, I saw it. I took it in after hours because it was holding up so well and the second mouse through eight was perfect. Um, wish, I'd, wish I'd have been watching that, but again, I wasn't at my screens. Um, anyway, we're gonna watch that one tomorrow. ISPC, we're going to watch that one tomorrow just because uh, I've been talking about this one. It's way extended. It's got crazy range, um, but I had a nice trade in today just playing a pullback. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, TRT, um, just kind of a quiet day today. Um, topped out right at 1050. So, who knows? We'll see how it sets up. If it sets up tomorrow for a clean setup through 1050, that would be a break at today's high. And you still have the most recent high at 1108, not that far away. So, uh, pretty decent looking setup there. ADGI, massive move today, closing well off its highs, but we're going to keep our eyes on that one. Um, YCBD, uh, big volume today and a pretty strong close, topped out at 202, so maybe back through two bucks tomorrow, knowing today's high is 202, but we'll have to see if it sets up the way we look for. Um, VLON had this big pop, um, what, four sessions ago? Then gapped way down, gapped down again, uh, but both those days was green, and now it's curling up nicely. So it's an odd stock. It traded 1.1 million today, but it's certainly worth watching tomorrow. PLBY, Playboy. Um, cur you know, a pretty strong move here. Uh, then it tried to make a secondary move and failed. Then it gapped down but ripped. It's, it's, it's definitely in a range between uh, 35 and 40. But it's holding up pretty well, so uh, I definitely want to put that on long watch. Remember, I'm a day trader, so I'm not in anything right now. LGVN, uh, the craziest stock in the world. Now we've got two red days in a row down on much lower volume. Um, goes on bounce watch. SOPA, not a very pretty chart, um, but we're going to put that back on bounce watch. No trigger today. And then lastly, CPIX, which um, as I'm talking right now and after hours is trading at 4 89. So I think they had FDA approval, if I'm not mistaken. So certainly a gapper to watch tomorrow. And I've got no voice left again, so I'm done babbling. I'll see you guys in the chat room in the morning.